So we are at Wildwood Junction at the old Wildwood train station. So this is actually the main line that goes to Cape May. I'm not sure where this goes exactly, but it goes deeper into New Jersey along the coast. As you can see, the right of ways are still here. And the old station is at the junction. There are actually tracks on the other side of it that goes and curves up and goes into Wirewood. So the station is back there. I'm walking away from Cape May, deeper into New Jersey. And I'm assuming these are old signal bases. That's what they look like. But if we keep walking up this way, there should be a switch. So I found a track that will connect into the main line. And these are actually dated 1926 or 24, it looks like, which is insanely old. And as you can tell, that's a lot heavier duty than this track. So I'm assuming this probably got used into the diesel days and uh, they rebuilt the track. So as you can see right here, they have a bow that changes track sizes so we go from the smaller track to the bigger track here we go the old switch so we made it up to the signal from the wildwood spur onto the main so I found an old signal stuff, no old phone. So I'm on a, the first floor of the towel. There's another box up there, but there's a bunch of gears in this one. And they don't move or anything, sadly. So there is the top box. And that's how far up we are. So we were walk, walking back along the main line. We had seen this little building off to the side. So this is what it is. There's a little concrete building. It's five. So the main line's over there. This is a spool. Then there's another switch here. And this one isn't locked, but it's like completely stuck. There it is. And then it comes up here. Keep splitting. This is where it officially splits and heads off in the future. Okay, I continue walking down the main line towards Cape May. And there's a demolition place up there. This is where, on this other little spool, I think this one just goes behind the station and there's just one that goes off that way. Could be wrong, it could be a full Y. So it's a rail car truck. 
just sitting here. And then if you walk up that far, I just seen there's a switch. So I assume one closest to me that goes that way, goes behind the station. This other one completes the Y. If you walk down a little bit farther along the main line, on that same track, there is another truck. The other truck is just up there. I just want to point this out. This, the bow lines, up follow is the old right away. I thought that was interesting. You know, that happens in most cases. So the power poles, which I pointed out on the other side, come across the road and there is the old right away all the way down to the end. So I'm not going to go any further, but this is the old right away into Wirewood. And there's a couple of really destroyed trusses up there. There's really nothing much to see out here. You can just tell this was old, the old right away. Then I'll show you guys some stuff on the way back, and then that'll be it. So, while I'm walking back here, we'll have a map pop up right now of where I'm at and where the trusses are, and just where everything's at. There'll probably be a couple different ones popping up. So. This railroad used to be a vital, vital part of the whole coastline. And now it's absolutely nothing. It's really sad. Uh, Cape May Shoreline Scenic Railroad. They operate some of the main line down by Cape May. So another thing I just noticed, some of this stuff, it's actually old coal. At first I thought it was just normal rocks, but every now and then you can really tell that it's actually coal. And the rail bed is actually right in there now. They moved the road over for some reason, I guess because that was sinking or whatever. And there's actually been a couple of ties here and there for when the railroad was here. So this is a great spot to tell that the railroad was actually here. The bridges for the highway were built over top the railroad. Now, it, it's kind of foggy where it was at right here. Because I'm assuming it was probably closer to that side. But at least it's still here. And you can tell where it was. And then that is it. I'm walking out now. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the lawn something, please hit that like button and comment what you think they should do with the band and railroads. This is William Boy Skelly Ghost, and I'll see you in the next one.